In this problem, we're told a flatbed truck is carrying a heavy crate. The coefficient of static friction between the crate and the bed of the truck is 0.75. What is the maximum rate at which the driver can decelerate and still avoid having the crate slide against the cab of the truck? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So imagine this is going to be the bed of the truck, and so this is going to be the crate. So here's the crate, and so we know it's going to have some mass m. And so imagine this right here is going to be... Uh, the cab of the truck, right? So the back of the truck. And so we're trying to make sure it's slow, it doesn't slide and hit it. So just keep that in mind. And so what we want to do first is just draw a free body diagram and label all the forces acting on our object. So what do we know? So we know it's going to have some weight force, which is just equal to m times g, right? So we have a weight force going down that's pulling it down because of gravity. And then we also, since it's touching uh, the bed of the truck, right, it's going to have a normal force acting upwards. And so we just call that F sub n, the normal force. Because anything touching an object is going to have the force, or it's going to have a perpendicular force acting against it, right? So that's F sub n. And so keep in mind, we also have the force of friction, right? Because they tell us that uh, mu sub s is going to be equal to 0.75. And so I like to think about it as it's going in the opposite direction. So it's going in this direction, right? So our force of friction is making it harder for it to move this way so it doesn't hit the truck, right? And so now that we know this uh, and we have these labeled, what we're going to be doing essentially is be solving for acceleration, right? They want us to find uh, the rate at which the driver can decelerate. And so we're going to be solving this formula. Uh, the force of friction is equal to mu sub s times f sub n. And so essentially we're just going to plug in mu sub s uh, and then we're going to solve for f sub n and solve for the force of friction. And what we're going to do is get an a variable and then we're actually going to be able to solve for acceleration. So the way we do that is by finding the sum of the forces in each direction. So you want to find the sum of the forces in the y direction, sum of the forces in the x direction. So in the x direction, we know F equals ma, right? So it's going to be equal to ma, right? Because we're moving along this direction. So ma equals, and then in the y direction, it's going to be equal to zero. The reason is because acceleration is zero because we're not even moving in the y direction. So it just equals zero. And then now let's go ahead and find the forces in the x direction. So we only have one force in this direction, which is the force of friction. But keep in mind, since it's going to the left, we want to label it negative. So minus F sub F. And so keep in mind our equation wants to solve for uh, the force of friction, right? Not negative force of friction. So we want to make it positive and then just multiply this side by minus 1. So equals minus MA. And then in this case, the Y direction, we have F sub N and MG. So if it's going upwards, we label it positive. So F sub N is positive and then minus MG because it's going down negative. Right, so F sub n equals mg if we add it to the other side. And so now what we have is we can just plug these in and go ahead and solve for a. So plugging in uh, ma or minus ma for uh, the force of friction, plugging in mu sub s, which is 0.75 times F sub n, which is mg. And so now what we can do, or you should realize, is that the m's will cancel. So we know minus a, uh, a is equal to 0.75g. And so uh, we know G is just going to be the force of gravity, right? That's what G is. So essentially, it's going to be 0.75 times G, which is 9.8, or whatever you want to use for gravity, 9.81, 9.8. And so essentially, if we want to just get A, we can minus this, right? So we get rid of it and just solve for A. So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it equals minus 7.4 meters per second squared. So uh, this is going to be the maximum deceleration uh, our driver can have, right? And so they're asking the rate, so you can make it positive, right? Uh, so minus 7.4 is the uh, maximum deceleration they can have, right? Because we add the minus sign to mean the direction. So that's going to be your answer to this problem, minus 7.4 meters per second squared. And so hopefully you found this useful.